Hi everyone, it's Tawny. I just got my hair done yesterday and it's a lot more brown than I have done in a long, long time. So I figured now would be the best time for me to jump on the trend, jump on the bandwagon and do the latte trend. Uh, the latte trend was popularized pretty much on TikTok. Usually anything any day anymore is on TikTok. I know that I miss out on a lot by not being on TikTok, but I hear enough stuff through the mill, through YouTube, Instagram, even Facebook, and any kind of beauty news I read in between. The nice thing about this latte trend is that it speaks very highly to me. Um, if you were a plain plain girl, plain person, and you don't like makeup and products with a lot of color to them, I feel like this would cater to you. And if you have blue eyes like I do, this trend is perfect for you because it's all about the browns, all about the neutrals, all about the nudes, and that goes great with having blue eyes. I found an article, I believe it was from Forbes magazine, so we're going to follow that to do the trend because obviously I haven't seen it. I haven't seen, I've only seen one video about it, and it was from Jessica Braun, so I'm, I'm kind of going off of what she did, but then at the same time, like, also following this article that I read. So that way I know, like, specifically what the steps are. So if, then, if like, technically you're a newbie, you can... Ew, that just got on my mouth. Okay, great. Um, so if you're a newbie, then you can kind of follow these steps. Um, you kind of know what you're doing, just like everyone else, essentially. I'm going in with the Hard Candy Smoothing Primer Balm. The... Um, article that I have doesn't say to use any kind of primer, but you know, I always prime my face. I don't like to not prime my face. So we are priming the face. Okay, so the website that I found, Forbes, the article I have says to start with a lightweight foundation or concealer stick. It also says you can go in with a tinted foundation or a serum foundation or anything light that's not going to be too heavy on the skin and not really weigh it down too much. So even though I like things a little bit heavier, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator um, Tinted Moisturizer thingy. I haven't used this in a hot minute. You can tell I have not used this. Look at all that water and liquid. I'm gonna have to shake this up first. I've not used this in a hot minute as, you know, has been made obvious, but I figured this is a good look to use this product with. I have some other products in mind, but I didn't really want to use those because they're a little too new. So this one is a little older. I feel like I've used it before, so I know how it works. I Not a whole lot because it's not really my speed. You know me, I tend to go for like the heavyweight, heavy duty stuff. But I mean, this doesn't mean that this is any, it's, this is bad, it's just not my preference. But we're gonna go ahead and use this anyway today because I want to follow the trend as closely as possible, which I feel like shouldn't be too difficult because, you know, I always do brown looks. I always stick with the neutral vibe, so it shouldn't be too hard for me to do. I'm gonna go in actually with my beauty blender and it is dampened on the, I only dampen like the top half, but it is dampened. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of start pounding that in all over my face. I'm gonna go a little heavier in the areas that are a little more red, but hopefully it'll cover up at least the color on my face, even if it doesn't cover up a lot of blemishes, because we can always go in with some concealer if we need to. Okay, this is what the skin looks like after the tinted hydrator. I feel like it covered a good bit of my redness and kind of toned my face to one color. It's doing it a lot better than it initially looked. Like, I feel like I look a lot better on camera, technically, than the mirror. But I feel like once I kind of put the rest of the face on, it'll all come together. I am going to go in with a little bit of concealer, and I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. And I'm just going to do, like my t-zone areas just to kind of like add a little bit of like brightness to those areas so then whenever we do the bronzer part it'll kind of all mesh into one nice look you know Okay, so now we're going to go in with the bronzer, and I think I'm going to go in with a cream bronzer. I have two bronzers I can go between. I have the Huda Beauty, the Huda Beauty Tantor uh, Contour and Bronzing 
Uh, it looks like this. It's contour and bronzer cream. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word that came after those two words. Then I also have the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade light and this is in the shade fair. Um, I think I'm going to use the Huda Beauty one because it'll contour as well. Not that the Makeup Revolution one won't because that one is still really good too. But I think I'm just going to go with this one because I also haven't used this one in a very long time. And I kind of want to like use it while I have it. Especially because cream products don't last as long as powders. I still have powder products from like way back when. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to put that all over my the highlights, the high points of my face. And I'm really gonna kind of go in a little bit heavier just because I feel like this look is so bronzy that it kind of calls for a like more heavier bronzer kind of than anything else. Like you could even skip the um, foundation and and um, concealer step if you don't feel like you need the concealer step and just go straight into the contour bronzing because that's technically like all you really need to your face. And I know there's some people out there, whether they agree or not, there's some people out there that I feel like can just skip both of those steps and just go straight into bronzing, blushing, highlighting, all of the fun stuff. So then they don't have as much makeup on their faces and it kind of looks a little more natural, you know? I am not one of those girls. I don't want to be one of those girls because I like adding all those extra steps, but it would be nice, you know. I'm kind of focusing on the temples and right above my eyebrows to kind of blend it in and then keep my forehead area kind of lighter. And I'm also going to do a light bronzing of my nose. I kind of just go all, go all over my nose. I don't ever stick to like the center of my nose, but I do try and stick to like the basic sides whenever I can, but I don't always try and like super contour if that makes sense. Okay, it says to skip blush or you can do a blush that's a little more natural, a little more like bronzy looking. And I know that Hailey Bieber, who technically sort of started this whole trend, she has a makeup brand, I believe it's called Rhodes Beauty. And she has a blush that is the shade, like it literally is this shade and it kind of, sort of blends into your skin. It kind of gives you this sort of a look like this peachy pink, kind of a look more peachy than pink, but I mean, it kind of gives you that look. I don't have that product. I've never tried Rhodes Beauty, but if you have that product or you're interested, I feel like that would be a very good option to do with this step, but I'm just going to skip blush altogether. And it also says to go into a liquid or cream highlighter. So I'm going to use the Halo Glow Beauty Wand. It's in the shade Champagne from e.l.f. And I'm just going to put that on the high points of my cheeks and then down my nose. And I'm just gonna go straight in with the applicator and then use a beauty blender if necessary. But I think I am gonna go in with the beauty blender. Not too much, but just enough to kind of tone it down in certain areas and like blend it in a little bit better. I feel like this gives a really nice wet juicy look, which maybe that's what they were intending with the latte look is to have everything kind of more smooth and seamless and just kind of look natural, but still done up. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is very natural looking, which is a good thing. I just did my brows and I also primed my eyelids. So now we're gonna go into the eye look and the eye look is gonna stay very neutral. You can almost skip the eyes and just either put your bronzer on them or you can just do like a regular cream colored or like whatever color matches your eyelid and just kind of do it very basic. Um, you can also do a brown eyeliner if you want to or you can just skip all of that and just do mascara and just say very plain and basic. And I feel like that look is also really chic. You could pair it with a red lip, but staying with the latte trend, we obviously won't do that. But I'm going to go in today. I have to find, I don't know why I have to find this. I'm going to go in with the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette because why not? Uh, when I saw the latte trend was being really popular, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this palette. That's what I'm going to use when I film this video. So we're going to go in to this palette and just create a really nice, very basic neutral look. I'm going to go in with the shade Vanilla Cream, which is a really nice yellowish white, and just kind of tap that all over the lid, set the eye a little bit, and give it kind of like a nice yellowish tint just to make everything a little more neutral and just kind of tone down the eye so it can all be like one tone like it'll all match itself because right now my eyelids are a little bit pink from like just being red and like I'm having a little bit of redness around my eyebrows from where I got them waxed yesterday but other than that they're not the most hideous things you've ever seen okay so now that we have that down and everything is kind of more sucked in a little bit 
I'm gonna go in with caramel and I'm gonna put that right in right where the crease is and just really blend that out and just kind of create like a socket look so that way you can kind of like see where the socket is and then where like the crease is and I'm just gonna go in kind of heavy and then blend that into itself Okay, I think I'm gonna go in, I was thinking about doing a wing look with my eyeshadow, but I think I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm actually gonna go in with this reddish brown shade hazelnut. Let me try and get it so you can see it. This shade right here, I'm gonna go in with that and just kind of pack it all over the lid, but then blend it out so it's not quite as harsh. Kind of defeats the purpose of doing the socket thing, but it's fine, it's fine, it'll be okay. I am going to go in with a highlight and just do my inner corner and my brow bone and I'm going to go into the shade creme brulee. Okay, so I have one brown mascara and it is the e.l.f. mascara with J. Kissa. It looks like this. I don't know if anybody remember the, remembers this, but it is in the shade brown. So we are going to go ahead and put this on the eyes to keep everything very monochromatic, very matchy-matchy. For my lips, I'm gonna do something very nice chocolate brown. I'm gonna go in with the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Truffle. And then I'm going to pair it with the Maybelline, uh, what is this? What even is this product? Uh, Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in the shade More Sepia. And this is kind of what the Maybelline product looks like. And inside this is what the shade looks like. You can also go in with a gloss to zhuzh it up a little bit, make it a little bit more glossy. But I kind of like the toned down, non-glossy matte version that this kind of gives. I feel like it kind of makes everything a little just more subdued, which I feel like is essentially what the latte look is all about. It's just subdued, nice, like a nice brown look, just something very calm and like not too overdone. Uh, what do you guys think of this look so far? Well, I mean, this is kind of the look. I mean, what do you think of the look? Do you like the latte trend? Is it not for you? Is there not enough color to it? I would love to know what you guys think. Definitely um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload my next video. Thank you for watching this one. I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.